All right, we're going to continue the last parts we're going to take out of our engine here today, guys, and that's going to be our valves. This is completely unique. I've never seen another engine like it. And so <coughs> the good news is it's going to be stupid easy, as you'll see. The bad news is you'll never see this again this easy. So when we switch to our other four-stroke engines, it's, uh, there's some uh, tools that we'll use to compress these valves. But it's going to be a good opportunity for you guys to start. Before you take your valves out, I can't stress this enough, that's extremely critical that you're marking and labeling and putting stuff back into the hole that it ran in for however many miles or hours. Is everybody clear on that? Right. What you'll see here is I've already uh, labeled my baggies and these are the rockers that we took out previously. And the reason we, like I said, want to do that more than anything is just the fact of having wear patterns um, that will run together. So this, what's going to happen here is we're going to push these down and just slide them sideways to get it off what's called the keeper. And if you look close here, you can see I'm locked in the middle. The valve right now is perfectly in the middle of this round disc, which is called the retainer. And you see how I'm going to try and hook it over and get to this other side, and that's going to let us disassemble it. What sometimes can happen, though, is the on, on assembly, what we're trying to do here, assembly or disassembly, is we're going to stuff a rag in the cylinder so that the valve doesn't actually move and that only the spring moves. Make sense? So let me flip this around and let's get a light in here so that we can see the valves underneath. <coughs> I'll go ahead and just push on one of these and you can see it push off its seat. Okay, you know, Honda did this where the head is integrated as part of the cylinder and casting and everything here. There's no head gasket, so this does make it a little more difficult. What we know is that cylinder is a precision bore. Can we scratch it? No. Well, do we want to scratch it is no. what I should say. We don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply stuffing a rag in here. And you'll see here, I'm going to be very careful. The other thing I have to be careful what I'm doing, we know this larger square one is our intake side. Yep. So I'll just focus on that for right now. I'm going to take this. Now you have to be careful because this could spring and, and hit you. So I'm just saying that we need to use some caution. I'm just going to push this to the side. And hopefully I didn't cover that up too much in the, uh, in the video there. I'm going to set these down. And now I'm going to take my rag out. And here's where I have to be careful, okay? So before I push this all the way through, I'm going to recommend that you guys do something else. I want you to always kind of be thinking about planning for the worst. We're dealing with steel here. So I'm going to go ahead and this, uh, the only on the intake side on this motor do we have a seal. I don't know why. Most every engine out there, you're going to have an oil seal. Does anybody know what the function of this seal is? Oil, oil. It keeps oil from going through the guide and into the cylinder in the combustion. We don't want oil in our combustion chamber. It'd follow the spark plug, it'd consume oil, it's a problem. This engine only has one on the intake side. So the reason I wanted to grab my magnet here is just so I don't hit the cylinder wall. And I think from maybe the last person working on this or whatnot, there might be a little bird edge on there. But did you see how I was able to remove it without any damage? Right. Yeah. Okay. And if I go ahead and do the same, I'll just dump these in the bag quick. So if there's no worries, switch to our exhaust side. Once again, rag. Make things a little bit easier. And let's see if I could do this better. Focus right here. I don't want you guys, you know, I want you guys to be doing this like this so that it's not flying across the room. Make sense? Yeah. Just for the purposes of the video there, we were off to the side. Good idea with the magnet? Definitely. Now, if I go here and kind of wiggled it as I, as I pulled it through just in case there was a little burr and you could see what I was attempting to accomplish. 